Hey guys, we're back. Uh, unit four, lesson six, level two, conditionals investigate. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to look at uh, what they want us to do. So play the game at least once. Notice what's different about the end game screen. Uh, look at lines 53 through 59 and discuss with um, a partner, me or your rubber ducky, um, how the modulus operator works. So mod stands for uh, modulus or modulo. I've heard it both ways. Um, and this percent symbol uh, in computer science is the modulus operator. And let's discuss for a moment what it does. So whenever you see that percent symbol in computer science, you should expect that it's uh, calculating a remainder. So let us just right here in the console, let's make sure we hit run first, otherwise it's not going to work for us. Um, I can literally type code in the console um, and test it out. So if I like say 30 modulus 10, right? So if I take 30 divided by 10, what is the remainder I'm going to have? Let's hit enter and we can see that it's zero, right? If I take 30 and I use the modulus operator and I divide it by something like nine, I'm going to have a remainder of three. Okay. So you can see it's not giving me 30 divided by nine. It's not giving me uh, like what was like the closest thing to 30 divided by nine. It's not giving me, um, you know, uh, basically 30. If I did 30 divided by nine, let's, let's just do that. 30, um, divided by nine, we can see like 3.3333333, right? And there's this like tiny, this is because of binary. Um, these decimal values are not always very precise, but, um, nonetheless, we can see the difference between 30 modulus nine. It gives us a remainder of three versus 30 divided by nine, which gives us a numeric value that is, um, has a decimal point. So um, maybe even if I did uh, 30 divided by eight, for example, right? That's gonna give us 3.75 versus 30 modulus eight, which is gonna give us a remainder of six, right? Because three times, uh, eight, the nearest factor of eight is 24. 24 um, from 30 is uh, six. So that's, gives, that's what's giving us our remainder. That value is six. Six is our remainder. So you'll want to make sure that, um, that you understand the modulus operator. Whenever you see that modulus operator, just think remainder, not this divided by this. It's the remainder of this divided by this. And that's what comes back. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've talked more thoroughly about the modulus uh, operator than I planned to. We're gonna still have to fix our if lives is less than zero. We'll say less than or equal to zero. And um, in our modify area, it says it takes five lemons to make one cup of lemon juice. So let's do this. So modulus five. I'm going to uh, put some spaces here to make it a little more readable. Um, computers don't care. They're happy to just read everything mushed together. It's not a big deal. So in this case, we're not going to say collected an even number of lemons. We want to say how many cups of lemons they create, uh, they collected. So enough lemons for and then we'll say um, for how many cups? Like uh, we can use score. So actually let's do the plus. Uh, I put the two pluses there to remind me that I'm concatenating a value on. Um, so we can say score divided by five. And then we'll say cups of lemonade. Uh, it says, uh, actually it says lemon juice. So let's go ahead and just type that lemon juice. Because why else would you have lemon juice, right? You want to make lemonade. 
All right. That's what happens when life gives you lemons, right? All right. So then the other one says the amount of lemons um, does not make an exact number of cuts of lemon juice. Eh. Not collect enough lemons for um, no, cups for complete cups of lemon juice. All right, let's try that. Um, even odd label, we could go into the design mode and fix that um, and change it to something that would be more appropriate. So let's go ahead and do that right quick. Let's go to design. Here's our um, even odd label. We could change this to um, uh, juice cups label. All right. Uh, we'll have to make sure that we change our other IDs that reference the old ID to the new ID. So let's go back to code. And instead of even odd label, control V, uh, juice cups label, control V. All right, let's take a quick look at this then. All right, let's run and play. Collect enough lemons for one cups of lemon juice. Oh, look how it's all kind of run together. We can fix that. So collected, where is it? Enough lemons for, make sure we put this little space in here and put a space here so that we can insert that value. So we could either use this score divided by five because that'll give us like how many cups they made. Um, or we can set this as a variable, like we can just literally do this, say uh, var cups equals score divided by five. Now they tell you not to do this kind of thing. Right now it's going to just say, hey, you haven't used cups. It's defined, but it's not used, uh, which is fine because we'll just change this from score divided by five to cups, All right? And we'll um, save that. So reset, press play, run, and then press play. Oh, bummer. All right. Uh, yep. And here it says that I collected enough lemons for two cups of lemon juice. I collected 10 lemons. Play again. All right. So that should help you out with this. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.